Hey, Brad. Um, uh, first preseason game, you watch Marcus Smart doing what he's doing out there, um, diving and taking charges. Do you celebrate the fact that he's playing hard or do you chastise him for putting him, his body at risk? No, you got to be able to, I think there's a contagiousness to that that's really important. Um, and so he's got to be himself. You know, obviously, John, we have a lot of room to him. We have a lot of room we have to improve. Um, you know, we're, uh, we're going to be a lot better at the end than we are at the beginning, as you could see tonight. Um, but if he doesn't play that way and we don't play that way, we're in trouble. So sorry, I could barely hear you. They got the piped in music behind me here. Now I can't see you. All right, I'm back. Uh, Amanda Fleury. Hey, Brad, uh, just your initial impressions of the rookies in their first preseason game, in particular, Peyton Pritchard. Um, I mean, I thought they did a lot of good things. There's a lot of film that they can improve off of. But, you know, I thought both Aaron and Peyton played well. Brian Robb. Hey, Brad, uh, just you touched a little bit on earlier about your assessment on where you guys were at as a whole tonight, given the compressed timetable of this training camp and season so far. Everybody's had the same training camp, though, Brian. I think the biggest thing is just we're, we're down a few bodies. So we're going to need, you know, our best players to play well, and we're going to need everybody else to do their roles as well as they can. Those will sort themselves out. I thought Jeff Teague was excellent tonight. I thought that, uh, like we mentioned, the young guys were good tonight. Um, but we're going to need more um, if we're going to have a chance to, to be good. I mean, um, you know, obviously we've got some, we've got some things to, to manage with uh, Tristan and Kimba and Romeo out. Keith Smith. <laughs> Hey, Brad, did, um, it seemed like for a lot of the night, maybe it was just the guys you had available, but you had two ball handlers on the floor quite a bit. Is that something you envision uh, seeing come together as the season goes along? Keith, I don't know how many times we haven't had two ball handlers on the floor. Um, you know, sometimes we call them point guards, sometimes we don't. We usually try to have three or four, you know, guys that can make plays, make reads. Um, play off each other. I thought the little guys did a good job playing um, off each other at the end, Peyton and Tremont. Um, and hey, if you're going to be small, you got to be able to drive the ball. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's going to be really tough. And so I thought those guys actually did a really good job together. Jeff Teague obviously got in the paint all night and did a lot of good things. Um, so yeah, we're going to play with multiple ball handlers. I think, I think everybody in the league is, and I think you have to. Mark Murphy. I know he's going to have a role all season, but in these early stretches, especially when you're missing Kemba, just how important is Jeff T going to be for you, just his veteran poise and so forth? Well, he, again, I, he got us several baskets that were just easy, like pushing the ball up the floor. It doesn't look like he's breaking a sweat. Sometimes it was him, sometimes it was others. But really in the first 30 minutes, I felt like that was the only time the ball was moving the way it needs to, was when he was in the game. And so we need to improve when he's not. Um, and so we need to make sure that we're getting better off of, you know, off of the film and off of today's game. I thought the first group had some moments at the start of each half, um, but I thought we looked, we looked the most fluid offensively when Jeff was in the game tonight. Jared Weiss. Right. How do you feel Rob did as far as being able to keep his wits about him as the play goes on and things start to break down and become more complex? And was there any conversation with him at halftime about how to get engaged with the offense? Because he was able to go right into a few handoffs and execute on pick and rolls really early in the second half. Well, we were just over dribbling as a team in the first half. And finally, we got off of it or made quicker decisions. So that's not on Rob. Um, and, you know, obviously, when he's a threat at the rim, then that helps our offense either for lobs or for his own uh, or for pulling in the defense and being able to kick it to the corner. All right. Christos Saltas. 
Hello, coach. Hello, coach. I would like to ask you. I would like to ask you what do you like to keep from uh, tonight's game, and how satisfied you are about your the approach of uh, of your players. Well, we got the best thing about the preseason is no matter win, lose, or draw, you're always got a ton of film to work off of, and we'll we'll do that. It was great to get a chance to get back in there, play, um, see guys impact the game in different ways. And, you know, everything is information right now. And so we'll take that. It was also great to play, you know, in front of no fans and get used to like what that's like in these big arenas. It's much different feeling than, um, than it was in the bubble where you were in a much smaller venue. And, um, you know, even the piped in noise, I appreciate Philly when they announced our starting lineup. They did the "You Suck" chant, anyways, and I thought that was uh, it made it feel a little bit more like Philly. I missed all those people behind me telling me, you know, wishing me happy holidays in their own special way. Last two questions. Uh, we'll go Gary Washburn. Hey, Brad. Um, I know you you can't get. I mean, you can't hurry the process, but the season starts eight days from now. Would you say that you're eight days away from being ready for the season? Are you, do you feel like comfortable or did tonight make you feel a little uneasy? I don't think tonight changed my opinion much, Gary. We have a lot of work to do. I've known that from the time I, we stepped on the court. Final question for coach, Mark D'Amico. Hey, coach, you talked about, you know, having a lot of film for all of your guys to look at and learn from after this first game. For the rookies in particular who are going through a condensed preseason here, what, what is most important that they can take from this particular film in, in their first game with the team? I mean, it's just every day is a, you know, a, a, a long class. They get there an hour before their scheduled time to do – you know, the young guys workouts. Those guys are both in the gym shooting and working out with their individual coaches before they even get into their lifting and group work. So they are um, in, in every which way in a crash course and we're just trying to expedite it as much as we can. Part of that mark is simplifying their roles. And, you know, I think we're gonna have to do that especially early on. There are a couple of times I called you know, a defensive coverage or an offensive play, and they looked at me sideways. They didn't know what I was saying. So, um, you know, we'll have to work on all that and try to get them, you know, a basic set of things that we can play with when they're in.